armaments as soon as America knew was going to enter the war. Those factories didn't have access necessarily to the same engines, so different factories produced different Shermans with different engines. Now, as they come out, first one we can see here is the M4A2. The engine you can hear. There we are, we've got twin Detroit diesels in the back there pushing around. You may recognise that one, of course, that's our famous filter is the M4A4 and he's got a siren ladies and gentlemen this was the most commonly used tank by the British and has the famous or infamous Chrysler multi-back engine in there we now have a couple of very important vehicles what we've not seen in the museum before the M50 and the M51, I'm going to say nothing about those because my colleague Stuart's going to talk about those in a moment or two. Um, have got the a new design of the um, Panthers gun, the L70 
off of there and they're going to put that in the AMX 13 so it's a 75 millimetre gun, a 7.5 centimetre gun that they've been developing. Now Israel is stopped from buying new tanks and the Soviet Union are supplying the Arab states with these um, obsolete tanks or, or tanks to the actual Arab states and so basically the Israelis and French get together because the French are not happy with Egypt supporting the Algerians in the French Algerian war and basically they look to put this, this 75mm gun, what they call the CN 7550 into that turret. To do that they have to take the rear off of the turret so the back of the turret they have to take that off and basically stretch it and weld parts in place. They also have to put lead at the bottom of that turret in the back to basically make sure that the actual turret can turn on a slope so the gun is balanced. Basically they're fitting that gun into that turret and that's what they're trying to do. It's an M484 hull with the turret on. It was actually given to the French, this actual particular model, um, post-war period. And what happens is they have to make sure they can get that gun in there. The other thing that the French have done is they've made it an automatic loader. So they have to make it a manual loader and that's what they have to do. And basically that's what they do, they make that a manual loader with that, with that 75 millimeter gun. It works very well in the um, in the 1956 war, in October 1956, November 1956 it works very well around the time of Suez, but the M51 is needed because what happens is the Arab states start to get hold of the T-54, T-55 and IS-3 and that 75 mm gun won't finish right there. So what they do is they look at it. Yes, yes. 